Hello YouTube, FSP here, hope y'all are doing well. I uh, thought I'd make a video about this, something that happened a couple of days ago. If you've been on the Silver Channel, you've already seen it probably on the Community tab. You know, uh, I've already done one video about fire extinguishers and how handy they can be. Yeah, we had to use one, so. Uh, trying to think what day it was. Seemed like it was Friday, maybe. Last Friday. Uh, I get a call from Dad on the cell phone. And, uh, he's like, Hey, my tractor's on fire. He gave me the location. Bring a fire extinguisher. Bring it right now. Tractor's on fire. And it may be loud in here. I've got air conditioners. And I've got fans on. Because it is freaking hot. It is 100 degrees hot. So, uh, anyhow, I throw shoes on. I run out the door, try not to fall and injure myself again. Get to the building, get on his four-wheeler that I'm borrowing. And I bust through the, through the shed doors and uh, grab the fire extinguisher out of the shed. Because I had one in there as, as well. This is the one uh, out of this room. But, uh and booked it to his location and, and by the time i got there he had done taken his shirt off he had done poured his beer on the fire that didn't work so he took his shirt off and was beating the tractor trying to put the fire out i get there i ripped the little tag off pull the pin out and i hand it to him and he puts the fire out it, the extinguisher it took three or four you know to get it out but uh, the alternator had shorted out and caused all the wires on the tractor to be burning on fire. Never seen that happen before, but apparently it can happen. Alternator shorted out, every wire on there was on fire. In the battery compartment, up on the top, everywhere. Alternator was on fire, everything in there to do with the charging system was on fire. So we got that put out, and I stayed another hour or two, helped him get the, he had to go get something to pull the tractor with. We had a box blade on the back of the tractor that caught on fire, and you know, a tractor sets the, the uh, hydraulics just go down, they, they seep down. So dad had to pull me on the front end loader tractor with the box blade on the ground, he had to drag us all the way back to his shop, so we did that. That took some time, took some doing, but I uh, just wanted to reiterate, y'all, if you don't have fire extinguishers, this here is a first alert one. Let's see if I can show it. It's going to be backwards, I know. This is the first alert one. These are some of the cheaper kind you can get on Amazon. Uh, I run a five-pound uh, Amorex. I used to work for Amorex. I know how their extinguishers are built. Uh, and always, get A, B, and C, because you don't never know. If it's going to be an electrical fire, a grease fire, or whatever it is. So just get ABC. You're covered all the way. Uh, so, yeah. I keep a five-pounder in the kitchen. And I keep one of these in the bedroom because that's where the fuse panel's at. And uh, kept one of these out in the shed and one of these in here, too. So, uh, just a good idea. wanted to reiterate that. Now, I know uh, many of you have seen my bug-out bag or my what I call my survival bag. See if I can't whip up here, show it to you, maybe. Right, hanging right there on the door, right there. Uh, and, uh, you know, survival bags, bug out bags, get home bags, good to have. But I've never done a video on the bag that goes with that one. And I thought I would do that today. I've had this duffel bag for about a year and a half. This is a high quality, very expensive duffel bag. Uh, I think this is made by the Hidden Woodsman people. The Hidden Woodsman, very expensive gear, but very tough gear. You know, triple stitch, double sewn, all that stuff. And so, this is the duffel bag that if I have to grab my survival bag and grab a rifle and run, 
this bag goes with me. I've got some patches on the side. As you can see, it's got some Velcro on it. And uh, I know this thing's gigantic in the camera. I'm trying to back up a little bit here and show you what it looks like. I did get the Multicam. You know, it was expensive already anyway. Three more dollars for Multicam. Didn't break me. So, uh, as you can see, we got a pocket on each side. And we got the main duffel. I'm not going to go all the way through this bag because there's, you know, there's underwear and stuff in here. I'm not going to show that. But, uh, right here, first off, I want to show this. I've got a real climbing rated carabiner on this side. There's a D-ring right here. And, uh, so I've got a, I've got that on there. Uh, and I've got my tied to the, one of the zipper pulls. I've got my watch you know my shtf timekeeper over here i got that got a red bandana in here this is a fire supposed to be a fireproof i don't know how good these really work because i've seen some videos that apparently they don't work all that great but this is supposed to be a fireproof document holder uh mom gave me this for christmas one year I've got uh, documents in here, birth certificates, uh, identities, uh, land papers, uh, my advanced directive, stuff like that. Very important documents and even some pictures of my family members because that's important too. You need to be able to prove if we all get separated, we may need to be able to prove that we're all in one family. So uh, got that. And uh, a little pocket constitution right here. Sorry, had it backwards. Pocket constitution. And I've got uh, two pair of pants, a pair of shorts. Uh, I've got a knife in here. And uh, let's see. Underwear. And over here on this pocket right here, we've got your toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant stuff like this you know some wipes in a bag you know so we got some, some some sanitary stuff over here on this side these zipper these zipper pulls are long and they'll get tangled up in each other so you gotta be careful so I wanted to go over this bag if I have to grab and go I just thought you know with Conditions in our country just deteriorating, getting some, you know, worse and worse and worse. Uh, I thought that I would show y'all. Come on. There we go. It's got a uh, shoulder strap. It's got these two handle straps like a regular duffel as well. So uh, I'm going to set this down so I can sit back down. So I thought I would show y'all that and uh, just kind of give you a for instance if I had to if I had to get out here and haul but you know for whatever reason survival bag this bag a rifle all the ammo I can tote you know all the magazines I can carry uh, that kind of stuff now my other stuff like uh, food uh, some, well, I'm going to be honest with you a lot of it would have to be left behind if we have to boogie out uh, of course the doors would all be locked but you know, depending on the situation, I could lose some food. Now my silver's hidden. It's hidden on the property, and they ain't gonna find it because it's in a hollow tree somewhere, and nobody else knows where it's at. So that's not a problem. I can get back to that. But uh, you know, if I had to. But uh, anyway, I just thought I would go through that with y'all. Uh, that's part of my routine. If I have to get up and go, you know, in the middle of the night or whatever's happening. Uh, make sure you can carry clothes with you. Now I've got, I've got a uh, wool hat, or uh, down here we call it toboggan. I know that's mean sled to everybody else, but beanie. That's the word I'm looking for. I've got a wool black beanie. I've got uh, wool underlayer, and I've got socks and extra socks in the survival bag as well that can go with whatever's in this bag. So, uh, not to mention survival gear fire starting stuff all that I just thought I would make a video talk to you about the little uh, thing with dad the other day 
he was beating the, the fire out with his shirt and he took his shirt off and beating it gashed his arm up pretty good he really could have used about three stitches in his arm but uh, I brought him down here his arm was just covered with blood I mean just covered brought him down here I pulled out my uh, farm fact we washed it all off and everything and uh, I used the stereo strips and over the stereo strips I used a little duct tape to just reinforce the, you know pulling it together and uh, he's fine he's already jerked them off you know this is three days later when I'm filming this so I uh, just wanted to make a video about that happening with the tractor